it's me Nim Sony. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be a little bit of a short one. Uh, this is something that I've been uh, wanting to say for a quite a while. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You can see that the temporary setup right now is pretty terrible. I haven't set up my computer right now. Um, I'm just kind of working on a laptop and I'm kind of wobbling all over the place. <laughs> this is this is a bit ridiculous, but uh, yeah, look at this. My camera's in, in a weird place. And I kind of need to correct myself. And my head's waving all over the place. It, it's ridiculous. But uh, today's video, I just wanted to kind of describe what's going on right now. Um, obviously, I haven't really put up much videos in recent... Wow, I'm going to have to switch to this camera because my head's kind of wobbling all over the place. Um, I've kind of been a little bit lax on videos recently and that's just because um, there, I have been working purely on 360 chicken in the moment and uh, oh excuse me the reason for that is that that game is just the only thing that I'm doing right now and when I say only thing I mean literally the only thing that I'm doing right now other than moving myself around um, so this video is actually not coming from Germany like almost all of my others have. Uh, I'm no longer living in Germany. This is the first video for a while now being recorded in the UK once more. Um, I did not move with my job. So today's video is essentially the announcement that uh, I am once again 100% fully indie game developer. Um, no more, I, I no longer work at Ubisoft. Uh, that's <laughs> that's just one of those things. I've uh, been there for about three years uh, before leaving now. I started in December 2019 and pretty much left by the end of 2022. So 2023 is, is my new year now. I'm going to start by releasing 360 Chicken very, very soon. Uh, the game's nearly, nearly complete already. It's just got some cool uh, visual effects and stuff to get completed. And then I've got a few tracks to make. And uh, beyond that, the game is pretty much ready for that first release, uh, which is going to be the first early access release. After that point, I will continue Project TX. And uh, then beyond that, the three primary projects that I'm focusing on will be 360 Chicken to keep that updated because it is early access. And I do want to get it to a final version 1.0 as soon as possible, uh, possibly within within a year or so, um, which again, it's, it's not a guaranteed uh, estimate there, it's just something that I, I would like to target. Um, beyond that, again, th uh, Project TX, so 360 Chicken, Project TX, and then the third project will be Tubby Supercat over here, who uh, has not gotten much love recently in terms of the game so i really want to get that to a stage where it's fun fully functional once again as with the the previous demo which is a completely rewritten system uh, since then and that will be that will be another project that is coming up very soon because i think these are the three primary projects that are really uh, quite important especially to my uh, my brand nim sony um beyond that I will continue in game development. I will always be in indie game development. And my my aim now, my target, is to turn Nimsoni into a it, its own game studio and you know hire people as part of that someday soon as well. So that's kind of what, what's going on now. That's what we're looking forward to, or at least what I'm looking forward to in this coming year and the few years after after this one. And that's kind of what's going on, yeah. So Nimsoni now once again an indie developer, hopefully becoming an indie developer studio uh, after this first game goes out, or at least after the Project TX demo gathers a number of people in the VR side of things. Again, I only, I don't only do VR games. I obviously right now 360 Chicken being a non-VR desktop game. Although again, I do like to sprinkle VR into things where I can. So Chicken originally had the idea where I, I would test it in VR and I might put a VR camera into there and it's very likely I will do that. So I'll add VR anyway, just purely because that's kind of what I do anyway. I, I add VR into anywhere I can because I really do feel like if you're going to make a VR game, then it's called a VR game because of all the VR specific functionality, right? Tracked hands moving about in your play space, room scale movement, 
and uh, advanced locom- locomotion mechanics, advanced gameplay mechanics that rely on the track to camera and stuff like that, right? So that's a VR game. Whereas a desktop game, you can still use VR as a camera mode, right? And I don't see why that wouldn't be something available to almost any game that is a 3D game where a, a, a tracked camera wouldn't ruin the game's perspective or ruin the game's uh, gameplay elements. I think if it can be done, it should be done. Just add VR into your games as a as a camera mode if you feel it's not going to put off players or if it's not going to ruin the atmosphere of the game because that would be that it's just a really good good thing to to most people are going to try most people who are VR enthusiasts are going to try and get regular games into VR anyway so i'd rather be someone who because i have a lot of knowledge in VR and a lot of experience in VR and i'm kind of known for my VR work I may as well add VR as a camera view to games like 360 Chicken and possibly even Tubby Super Cat, which would be really cool in VR at no additional cost, really. I mean, it costs me a few a few hours to get things working with that kind of camera view. Maybe it would require a lot of dedicated changes, but for the most part, it doesn't require you rebuilding the whole game to get a VR camera view in there. So anyways, that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to be doing uh, to 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 have to to build on in the coming coming years and that's that's where we are i'm no longer working in germany i'm now once again in the uk and uh, i'm i'm a full time indie developer once more but there we go there's there's a lot more that i want to talk about that i want to do there's so many more things that i can now get done at, at a much faster pace because i am now just entirely independent and uh, but there we go right so so uh, i don't know much there's not much more i could say i i made a video 4 years ago saying i'm now a full time indie developer i'm never going to have a job again and then along came an opportunity so there we go i've done what i did i uh, i was happy to have done the things that i did at ubisoft i did some some fun stuff i implemented some really important parts within the games that i worked on and that that's as much as i can or want to say right now when the time comes where i can say more about what goes on or i can discuss the innards of a game while playing it and and say hey look this is what i did this is what i did these are really cool elements that you might not have noticed that exist as part of uh, the programming team the gameplay mechanics teams that i've been working with when that time comes i'd love to do a video like that or even multiple videos talking about these mechanics that maybe I worked on or I helped out on um, and uh, some other trivia that might exist behind the scenes but uh, that time will come soon and uh, we'll just wait for that to happen so that's uh, kind of the end of this video I just wanted to talk a little bit about the situation I haven't even set up my main system which is why I'm kind of waving around right now I just uh, temporarily mocked up a, a little tracking setup right now on my laptop i'm working on a laptop right now in a, a completely empty house which is really really cool i've got so much things going on in reality as well but uh, there we go thanks very much for watching this video hopefully i'll have something much more interesting coming soon um some pretty cool things happening uh, soon just the word soon is the most important one here right so that that's where the emphasis is thanks very much for watching i will see you in the next actual video uh which will once again most likely be 360 chicken so yeah there we go thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye